So today I'm going to show you guys five easy techniques you can do to give yourself the best foot massage you've ever had. So listen up. So really quick, check with your doctor or medical professional first because not everybody can do this, but for the majority of people out there uh, with achy feet, this is a great solution to any kind of foot pain. So what you need to do first is, before any of this, I highly recommend that you take a shower or bath, particularly a warm shower because not only will that clean yourself up so you don't get dirt, dirt on your hand from your feet, uh, but also it'll warm everything up and make it a lot easier for you to get in there and massage. So assuming that's been done, the first technique you're going to do is what I The first technique you're going to do is what I call the wiggle. As you can see here, I've marked a bunch of lines and each of these represents a bone. So this toe has a bone, this toe has a bone, this toe has a bone, and all five of them have a bone along each other. What you're going to do is you're going to pinch with your fingers like this. Uh, two of the bones beside each other and you're gonna just wiggle them back and forth it should just be like one goes up one goes down and start kinda light on this but you can easily turn it up and go a little more aggressive depending on how much your body can handle this is a really good way just to warm up all the bones and the muscles in between the bones and also just to loosen up the feet in general so grab those two grab on these here loosen them up in that area you can do this for about a minute and make sure you get all five. I'm doing this quick just so you guys can see what to do, but in reality I'd probably want to spend about 30 seconds on each one just until you feel like everything's starting to relax. Second thing, I call this the meat between the bones. And you'll understand what I mean because if these are bones, in between just like, actually I call this the meat between the ribs. So if this is a bone, in between the bone, in between the ribs is meat. What you want to do is you want to put your fingers in between two of these bones and then proceed to just rub kind of up and down this way along there. And you can just go on the skin. You can use lotion if you want for this. Personally, I like just being dry hands. Uh, you basically push up and down with your fingers like this. And when you relax this, you might find you get a spot that's really tight and tender. As soon as you find that spot, I would just pin and hold that there. And these muscles, they're actually really good. In many ways, you can press on these. And if you hold one of them, the bottom of your feet will actually relax. So I'm a huge fan of this one. I would recommend after wiggling every single rib, I would get the meat between these ribs right here. So find those, go up and down here. If you find a tight spot, hold it. I feel a tight spot already. I'm just going to move my hand so you can see and you just hold that and you should feel your foot relaxing it should actually feel really cool like it's in the middle of your feet here hold that and repeat the exact same ones on the last two so with that being done that covers the entire top of your feet the third step is what I like to call the arch now this is if you imagine when you look at your foot uh, when you stand on the ground, your foot has an arch. I think most people know that. They, they go up like this and then down here. Uh, what you want to do is you want to actually look at the arch and you want to look at the back part of the arch, particularly the part where it goes up. I already drew this out here so you guys can see, but basically when it's going up, that is a spot that's very tender often and one that you can easily work on. And with this, I'd actually take two fingers beside each other and then place it on that part on the arch and just strum it, strum it like it's a guitar. Going back and forth here. And then go like that. And this one, you might have to go in a little bit deeper. There are a lot of ways to reinforce it to make it more uh, aggressive of a massage. I personally would prefer just getting the tip of the elbow in there, assuming it's not too much pain. So just if you imagine that same spot here, I just get the tip of the elbow in here, hold on to my foot, and imagine you're strumming the guitar strings like that. This is a really good one because this muscle can get really tight if you imagine the weight of your body all day is pushing your foot down. Really good especially if you have heel pain. So 
That one I do it for about two minutes. Uh, give your hands a break as well if they start getting sore because this can be quite a bit on your hands, especially if you're uh, doing a lot. Uh, the next one, and this one's actually really key. This one right here is if you look at your foot on the bottom of your foot, about halfway the way up, that's where, if I was to bet on it, this is where most of the tight muscles will be that you can massage out. So if you imagine halfway up your foot, just take a line that goes horizontally here. Once you have that, just feel in here with your hands. Just do little circles. Just do little circles around here along that line. I'm going to show with one finger so you can see. Little circles all the way down. And you might eventually find a spot. Like for me, I feel a tight one in here. I'm actually going to get more fingers on so I can get more pressure. But you'll feel a tight spot in there. And those are the ones that you need to relax. So for this, similar to here, you can grind it out with your fingers. However, one quick word of advice, guys. With all the ones on the bottom of the foot, you have a lot more firm tissue to go through. So if you don't want to wear out your hands, I would highly recommend taking that bony part of the elbow and just putting it, placing it oh so gently on the back of the foot there. And then just kind of rubbing it out there. You can also use your other hand to kind of sandwich it in between. And then you rub it there. Similar to everything, you can hold it when you're on a tight spot. I'm sure for anybody watching, you're gonna find some tight spots here. And just keep rubbing until it relaxes. This one, you could probably spend a good, a good five minutes here if you, if you absolutely had to. And the last massage technique that I like to use is called the motorcycle. So if you imagine like you're riding a motorcycle, you're going to put one hand here on the top part of the foot or the upper part of the foot. The other hand is, will be on the lower part of the foot. And all you're going to do, it's actually kind of like wringing a towel, uh, but I call it a motorcycle because it sounds a lot cooler. So you're going to hold on with one hand and you're going to turn it down this way, but at the same time, you're going to turn your other hand the other way. So like this would be the slow motion. And with this, you're really just stretching out all the, the foot muscles in there and the joints as well. This one, I would not recommend this for everyone, uh, particularly people with diabetic feet or anything like that. This is a little dicey. But for, for people, particularly for people who have high arches and very stiff feet, this can actually be a really good way just to kind of loosen things up and help uh, remove some tension. I actually, I personally find this feels pretty good on myself as well. Uh, but all you're doing is you're just kind of spinning back and forth there. Give your thumbs a break with this one as you need. Um, and those are the five foot massage techniques. And that concludes all the foot massage techniques you need to know. So I'll see you next time.